Hello and welcome. This is Haneke. Today I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and bring to you the new Season 6 Scoreboard Rewards. Last night the Bethesda website released their new rewards and now we can see what they are. They may change some of them as they have in the past altered some of their rewards but for now this is what we have so let's go ahead and take a look. This season is called The Unstoppables vs. The Diabolicals. The Unstoppables, of course, being the dearly beloved cartoon characters who feature prominently in the Fallout universe. Let's go down and see what they've got for us. As we all know, to go through the scoreboard, we earn score points by doing daily and weekly tasks then we can rank up and unlock our new rewards. Okay, so here are the first 10 rewards. First up, rank 2, we have the Manta Man icon. Rank 3, we have the Medium Vault Tech Supply Package. This is always handy, it's always great to get some extra junk for your scrap box. Rank 4, the Manta Man Sidekick Mask. I like this. I like these masks that they've come up with. Rank 5 we have the perk card pack. One perk card pack. Rank 6 we have carry weight booster times 3. Rank 7 we have 3 lunch boxes. Lunch boxes are great. I use them all the time. Rank 8 we have the Manta Man poster. Rank 9, we have Legendary Modules, and could I please say, we need more ways to get Legendary Modules. I currently have so many cores, and I can only get a few modules a day. We really need to be able to get the modules the same way as we get the cores by doing events. Rank 10, Atoms. I love Atoms. Give me more of those. Okay, let's look at the next page. Rank 11, we have 500 caps. Rank 12, the Silver Shroud Backpack Flare. I love this. Look how cute he is. I will be putting that straight on my backpack. Rank 13, the Large Voltex Supply Package. Some more junk for our scrap box. Very good. Rank 14, the Pyramind Player Icon. Rank 15, Perk Card Pack. Rank 16, the Manta Man Sidekick Outfit. And this is great. I love getting costumes, especially free costumes, because free is the best price. Rank 17, Lunch Boxes. Rank 18, the Mistress of Mystery Paint for T45. Now this is a good looking paint. Just look at that. I think we'll see lots of people using these. Rank 19, Legendary Cores. Rank 20. More atoms. Yay! Let's look at the next page. Rank 21. A thousand caps. Rank 22. The Inspector Sidekick Glasses. Now these are good looking glasses. Very nice. Rank 23. Perfectly Preserved Bubblegum. I don't really use that because I have the Survivor Shortcut Legendary Perk, which is fantastic by the way you should all look into that if you haven't tried it it covers food drink and disease cures the survivor shortcut legendary perk rank 24 the inspector player icon rank 25 a new light ally Daphne I love these allies I love having different allies in my camp just to give a bit of life to your camp because sometimes they seem a little bit dead so I'm very much looking forward to these new allies and there will be two of them there will be two of them in this season okay rank 26 more perk cards rank 27 more nuke key cards perfect for people who love nuking rank 28 mistress of mystery t51 paint rank 29 legendary script times 100 yes Rank 30, more atoms. Bring them on, I love these atoms. Let's look at the next page. Rank 31, gold bullion. Rank 32, the inspector sidekick outfit. Now that's not a bad looking outfit, I like that one. Rank 33, scrap kits. Rank 34, a new photo mode pose. 
Mmm, interesting. Good for people in cowboy themed camps. Rank 35, perk cards. Rank 36, check this out. This is the best looking brewing workstation I've ever seen. It's red rocket themed, but it could also be science themed. Look at that. I will be using that immediately. Rank 37, lunch boxes. Rank 38, Mistress of Mystery Excavator Paint. Now that looks pretty good on the excavator. Rank 39, Legendary Cores. Rank 40, more atoms. Oh, we seem to be getting atoms for every page. Now that's great. Let's look at the next page. Rank 41, a thousand caps. Rank 42, the Silver Shroud Mask. That's really very nice. I like how it's sort of pearl colored. Rank 43, repair kits. Rank 44, the Silver Shroud Icon. That looks nothing like the Silver Shroud. Is it the Silver Shroud or is it his sidekick? I don't really like that icon. He's funny looking. Rank 45, perk cards. Rank 46, finally, finally, Tesla Paint. Oh, I have been waiting for Tesla Paint for the entire time I've been playing this game. Thank you, Bethesda. Tesla Paint, I love you. Rank 47, Legendary Modules. Rank 48, Mistress of Mystery Paint for the T60. Rank 49, more atoms, yay! Rank 50, Light Ally Maul. Now we're finally getting a non-human light ally. Maul is a super mutant. Maul will serve you meat while he hunts for a fabled hero. I'm really looking forward to Maul. Just for something a little bit different. Let's look at the next page. More atoms, fantastic. I can never get enough atoms. Rank 52. Two and a half thousand caps. Ooh. Rank 53, carry weight boosters. Always handy when you get stuck. Rank 54, the Silver Shroud Sidekick Outfit. Very nice, very nice. Rank 55, perk cards. Rank 56, the Grognak Floor and Foundation Set. Sort of a jungle theme. Rank 57, lunch boxes. Rank 58, the X01 Mistress of Mystery Paint. Rank 59, Legendary Cores. Now, enough with all these Legendary Cores. I have about a thousand Legendary Cores. I want modules. More modules, please. Rank 60, more atoms. Yes. Let's look at the next page. Rank 61, Gold Bullion. Rank 62, the Mistress of Mystery Mask. That's a nice one. Rank 63, Scrap Kits. Scrap Kits are very handy and I use them all the time. Rank 64, the Mistress of Mystery Icon. Rank 65, Perk Cards. Rank 66, the Judgment of Set Fixer Paint. That's a really classy looking fixer paint, that one. Rank 67, One Liquid Courage. Come on now. I can make those. That shouldn't be a Rank 67 prize. Rank 68, the Mistress of Mystery Ultrasight Paint. Looks very nice, very nice. Rank 69, Legendary Script 250. That's quite a lot. Rank 70, more atoms, yay! The next page, rank 71, gold bullion. Rank 72, the Mistress of Mystery sidekick outfit. That looks sort of Thor-like, I think, with those dots down the front. But still very nice. Rank 73, repair kits. Rank 74, the Mean Green Photo Mode Pose. Yes, I can see lots of people using that one. Rank 75, Perk Cards. 
Rank 76, the Mistress of Mystery T65 paint. Now I've got T65, so this would be the one I would be using. Rank 77, lunch boxes. Rank 78, now look at this, the Wasteland Gong. I will be putting that immediately into, I have a number of Japanese themed camps and that will be going straight into them. Beautiful, I love it. Rank 79, Legendary Cores. No, no more cores. Give us modules. Rank 80, more atoms. Yay! Let's look at the next page. Rank 81, more caps. Rank 82, the Grognak Wallpaper Set. That is very jungly. I like it. I like it. Rank 83, Carry Weight Booster. Rank 84, the Grognak Icon. Rank 85, Perk Card Pack. Rank 86, Grognak's Other Axe Guitar Paint. Well, I do prefer it to the Guitar Sword, so yes, I like it. Look at that. Rank 87, nine lunchboxes. Oh boy, that's a lot. Rank 88, the Samurai Power Armor Paint. I love it, I love it. That will be going straight into my Japanese camps as well. Beautiful. Rank 89, Legendary Script 250. Rank 90, more atoms. I can't, oh, I'm going to have to add up how many atoms we're getting out of this. There seems to be quite a lot. Let's look at the next page. Rank 91, gold bullion. Rank 92, another fantastic looking flare, the grognak backpack flare. Rank 93, the unstoppable stein. Oh man, I like that. I like that one. Rank 94, the fighting stance pose. Yes. I like that one too. Rank 95, perk coins. For ranking up your legendary perk cards. And don't forget, if you've played Nuclear Winter, once it shuts down, the people who've played it will get perk coins depending on how many Nuclear Winter Perk cards they unlocked. So hopefully we'll get lots of Perk coins and we'll be able to rank up lots of our legendary Perk cards with those. Rank 96, the Grognak Sidekick Mask. Rank 97, more legendary cores. Rank 98, the Fetch Collectron. I love him. Look how gorgeous he is. He will perfectly match the animatronic cat and also the bird in a cage that we got from the last scoreboard. And even though we haven't got live pets yet, these animatronic animals are beautiful and I love them so much. They just give a bit of life to your camp. I will be using him immediately. Rank 99, the Grognak Sidekick Outfit. Let's look at the next page. The final rewards. Rank 100, the Cataracts Icon. The Framed Unstoppables versus the Diabolicals Game Board. And the final prize, the Diabolical Samurai Power Armor Paint. Very nice, very nice. Well, those are some great prizes that they have brought to us, some great ones. A few fillers but some great main prizes. I'm very happy with those. So the other thing that we have here on the Bethesda website is the next community calendar. So let's have a look at the highlights of that. Well, obviously it's all coming to happen on September the 8th. Not long now, next week that will be. And the updates will be the Unstoppables versus the Diabolical Scoreboard and daily ops expansion. I'm looking forward to that with new mutations, 
maybe some new enemies and definitely some new locations. Now the highlights from the other part of the calendar. Well, we have the Spooky Scorch seasonal event. I can't wait for that. They will be getting out of storage some of the prizes that came from the, the Mystery Night event that used to be the Halloween event and was shelved because it had too many bugs. So this is the replacement event and it will bring out the old prizes and in the future they'll bring us new ones. But I'm happy to get the old prizes because I never got to do the Mystery Night event and I'm sure lots of people never got to do it. Even though people who've been here since the beginning probably did do it and probably do have the prizes, the rest of us say thank you very much Bethesda for the Spooky Scorch seasonal event. We really do appreciate it. I believe there will also be Trick or Treat where we can go to other people's camps and take candy out of a bowl that they have there as long as we are wearing costumes and we can get prizes that way. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Spooky Scorched and Trick or Treat. Now other highlights, the Bombs Drop Day. I looked this up to see what it was about and apparently it offers a week of free play for people who haven't started to play Fallout 76 yet plus various activities and prizes for us. So that's a good one. Then of course we have Double Score Weekend. We've got a few of those actually. But the highlights here, Double XP, that's always a great one. The Fallout 76 three year anniversary, that is a huge one. I'm sure there will be a lot of cool activities for us to do and prizes. Prizes are always good, aren't they? We love prizes. And then down to December, we have the main thing here, the Holiday Scorched event, a lot like the Spooky Scorched event, but Holiday Scorched is the Christmas version. So I wonder if we'll get new prizes for that one. Even if we don't, I'm looking forward to that one. And I thought there was another new event called The Ritual. I haven't seen a mention of that anywhere. I wonder if that's been canned. I hope not because I was looking forward to that one, but hopefully they will tell us more about it soon. And then another double XP here at the end of December. So all in all, there are a few good looking events coming up, things to look forward to. And then of course, there's all the usual things like Gold Rush and Caps of Plenty and Minerva's Big Sale. They're okay, but they're not the main attractions here. The main attractions are the events like the Holiday Scorched, the Spooky Scorched, the Fallout Anniversary. Okay, so that's enough of that. Apart from that, we also have a bunch of FAQs about the season, so you can have a look through these and answer lots of questions for yourself. Okay, well that is what Bethesda has brought us. Lots of exciting new stuff to check out. I'll put the link to the Bethesda website in the comments below so you can go to the site and have a look for yourself and check out all the fantastic things that we're going to get very soon on the 8th of September. So that's it from me, Haneke. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have finished your current scoreboard season 5 and don't forget to claim everything before the new update because once the update comes you won't be able to access this season 5 anymore. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can check out my future videos. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you around Appalachia. This is Haneke signing out.